What do you say there, everybody? Geo City, right back at you. Here we are, week 13. Starting to get pumped already. All right, so we're off a bye week. Well rested. Headed to Detroit. The Lions, let's face it. They've had a, a very awkward season. Uh, they had some thrilling moments. Remember, the, the Lions, they beat the Pats. Beat them pretty well on a, a primetime game. They also beat the Packers. So the Lions can say they've beaten Tom Brady and, and Aaron Rodgers. But, you know, over the last five weeks, if I remember correctly, I think they've scored 20 points just once. So they're having a real tough time scoring. Uh... Matthew Stafford, I always liked him as a quarterback, very capable, he's pretty game, he's tough, but I really feel, all things considered, the Lions are just up against it. I broke this game down as, as, much, as, a poss- as much as you possibly could break a game down, uh, because I've had such great anticipation, and... Both sides of the line in the trenches. Rams, huge advantage. Nick and Sue is actually coming back to Detroit. <laughs> so he's going to be pumped up to play in that stadium where he played for many years. Keep that in consideration. So you got Sue with Aaron Donald probably making a constant, constant menace on the field of play. So I think the Rams defensively are going to have a pretty solid advantage. We're healthier. We're now getting better at cornerback. We know Tlaib is back. Uh, Our linebackers are improving every week. All right. We know the game that Samson had against the Chiefs. Uh, So defensively, I think the Rams are going to own it. All right. They're going to probably going to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now offensively, hey, an extra week to prepare. <laughs> uh, you give McVay a bye week, an extra week to prepare, to game plan. Uh, special things are going to happen. Uh, listen, we can only beat ourselves. All right, it's the way I handicap this game. Yeah, we're a 10 point favorite. Uh, if we play our game and execute our game plan, <laughs> we're probably at this stage of the season. All due respect to the Detroit Lions, we're probably somewhere in the area of 20 points better than them. I'm sorry, but facts are facts, right? I'm not here to gloat, nothing like that. I know the Rams are on the road, but it is a bye week. We're 10-1. and one. The Lions are a four-win team. They did have two very special games this year. I looked at those games very closely. They played the Pats, like I said before. They played the Pats very well. What happened? This stop. I want a little more of that NFL music going on, right? Gotta love the NFL films music, right? This guy is such a great narrator as well. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they, they, they played the Pats. The Pats tough. They beat them. And I have a great respect for the Patriots. One of the best teams in the league. And they sort of manhandled the, the, the Packers as well. But those were earlier in the season. Uh... Still an NFL team. Rams have to play their best. They have to execute. But if they don't turn the ball over and beat themselves, I think we're in for a very convincing victory. I see the Rams again. It's not illogical to think they're going to be somewhere in the area of 40 points. Uh, Maybe higher. Uh, If they score on defense, certainly it's a great possibility. And the fact that they're improving defensively and I really think in the trenches, they're going to have a significant advantage. You know, and Stafford's had the propensity this year of throwing bad balls, making poor decisions. He's not having a very good season. So I think the Rams will force the Lions into a few turnovers. Um, it's the way I see it. Uh, please, uh, after you see this video, if you see something differently, if I miss something, let me know. Oh, by the way, I pulled out a new shirt. Atlanta bound, if you could see that. Atlanta bound, all right? The Rams are Atlanta bound. This is just another step in the direction towards Super Bowl 53. 
obviously that's ultimately where we need to be and where we will be. Uh, got the Lions, then two primetime games against the Bears in Chicago, the Eagles back in L.A., and then uh, we finish the season, if need be, with games where we'll just manhandle the Cardinals and the 49ers, one on the road, one at home. Then the inevitable buy into the playoffs. Then a divisional round, home game, favored. I don't care who they play. They won't be playing the Saints in the first round. Probably not the Bears in the first round. So it's going to be one of those uh, four, five, or six teams, uh, seeded teams, who will host in the first round. Rams will be a 10-point favorite or more. Then, of course, our goal is to host the NFC Championship game. Regardless of who we play, we'll be ready. So this is our march to Atlanta. We're Atlanta bound. Can I have a let's go? Let's go, baby! Woo! <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, let's keep up the momentum. Talk to you real soon. It's Wednesday. Enjoy tomorrow night's Thursday night game. I think the Cowboys could beat the Saints. They're certainly going to play them tough. All right? Uh, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Sunday. Take care. Brush your hair. Bye-bye.